Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to HEDM's Morning Devotion. I am Sister Aisha, and today's topic we're going to be talking about is perfection. Perfection. When you think of perfection, like, there's like a cold feeling of perfection because it's just like you don't know what to expect and you feel like you instantly think, am I perfect enough to have or achieve perfection? Should I continue to alter some things or alter, start altering things so that I am perfect? Your mind just starts to go haywire. It starts to go haywire. And in order to understand perfection, we have to understand what it is to be perfect. And to be perfect, it means that you're having all the desired elements characteristics and qualities however perfection on the carnal side means the condition state or quality of being free or free as possible from all flaws or defects so the carnal side basically says that you're human and that there are room or there is room for improvement on biblical side it states completeness of parts where no part is defective or wanting you desire not to change because you understand that you are whole you are experiencing the wholeness process what it feels like and what it means to be whole in jesus to be whole with God, to be whole in your life. That's when you achieve perfection. You have to understand that perfection is when you reach the state of maturity. And until you cross that threshold of maturity, perfection cannot be achieved. It won't, you won't experience it because you have yet to come into understanding that you are made whole. God has took his time to shape and mold you in his liking, which is perfect. God is perfect. So he has taken his time to do such thing. And here we are looking at someone else state or stage of perfection. And we start to alter what God created to be somebody that God didn't create us to be. So we get we begin to pursue perfection without being perfect or learning what perfect is. We're running to maturity when we're still an egg. We're running to that stage of maturity when we have yet to know that because I am God's child, because I am able to acknowledge and know that everything, every part of my life and who I am is complete. So I can fully experience 
the perfection process. Can I encourage you to continue to stay focused on perfecting how to be a Christian in and out of church in your daily lives staying under God's hands as he continues to shape and mold you into who he wants you to be you are not the creator so I encourage you to stop altering God's perfection let us pray Thank you, Lord, for waking us all up this morning, dear God. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me this opportunity to talk about perfection today, dear God. Heavenly Father, the things that I might have missed, dear God, or the things that were said, dear God, that you've caused me to say, dear God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for allowing me to be the host, dear God. And may the words be able to uplift someone, dear God, at this time and hour, dear God, that we're able to have a better understanding of what it is, what it is to be or to witness per perfection. Help us to stay under your hands, dear God. Help us to stay under your hands and continue to shape and mold us, dear God. Help us to understand that perfect comes with the pursuit of perfection dear God, that the ultimate goal is to reach perfection, dear God. That way we know that we have reached the stage of maturity, dear God, and that we've reached the stage of wholeness, dear God. Lord, Heavenly Father, help us not to rush that process, dear God. Heavenly Father, help us to understand that each and every step of our life, each and every part of our life, dear God, is going to help us, dear God, is going to help us achieve perfection, dear God. And I thank you in no other name but in Jesus Almighty name. Take care. Catch you on the next one.